So you might be trying to figure out how you can migrate or move some of your iPhone data into iCloud. Now, doing this is actually fairly basic for the most part, but it depends on what you're trying to do. The first way to get started is you want to make your way over into your iPhone settings application. Then what you want to do is you want to go into general, and then you want to go into iPhone storage, which is right here. So tap into iPhone storage, and this page is going to come up. Now, the, my favorite thing to do, and the best thing to do kind of for the most part, is this offload unused apps. So a lot of us have a lot of data that we no longer use. But if you see right here, there's a lot of applications and lots of things that we use throughout our phone, and a lot of them take up a lot of data. But if you want to offload some of those things into iCloud, you can click offload unused data or unused applications right here, and that's going to offload a lot of those things off of your particular phone to your particular, like either like some sort of you know, iCloud server. Now, if you don't want to do all of them, you can also pick. So let's say right here with Jurassic World, right? Let's say I don't want to use this or have this on my phone anymore. I can click offload app. And what this is going to do, it's going to tell me right here, this will free up storage and used by the app, but keep documents and data. And when you reinstall it, it'll be like you never even had to delete it on your phone. So that's the first thing to do. You can click offload app. That's probably going to save a lot of data and move a lot of you know data from your particular iPhone to the iCloud servers. Now, another thing you may be able to see here as well is some, now another thing you might be able to see here is basically offloading photos and videos into iCloud. Now, this is another thing you can do too. And if you get that little you know attachment, you might be able to see it, which again is a really, really nice thing. If you look for my personal phone, which is right here, you'll be able to see the same thing, which is you know iCloud photos. You can go ahead and enable iCloud photos here and this will go ahead and allow you to back up all your data and your photos and videos into iCloud and save even more storage. So that's another way. Those are probably my two go-to things. If you want to go and save data on your iPhone and move it to iCloud, those are probably my two go-to ways of saving the most amount of data and moving them into iCloud for the most part. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, also of every single one of you guys, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.